I think that ebooks are just a wonderful invention. They allow authors to have the, just this much bigger audience than they might potentially have if their books were only coming out in hardcover form. And I especially love the idea because they're paperless. And being a tree planter and writing about the environment and forest products, I just think it's a miraculous thing that we have now. Uh, ebooks are just, you know, they save so many trees every time an edition is put out in ebook form. I would say that I know that a lot of people do blogs and it attracts readers to for their books, but my, I worked the opposite way. I, uh, I started writing books and then I became really attracted to blogs and Facebook because it's a really casual way of writing that's not quite as formal as writing in book form or in magazine form. I really like the interaction with readers too. I love the fact that people can comment and then they can write to me and that we're having a, a sort of public discourse in a place that's really informal. I think that, you know, it's a, it's a Canadian story, it's a regional story, and it just kind of expanded the whole uh, idea out to a much larger audience. It was just wonderful. Uh, the Huffington Post, of course, is, um, you know, an amazing place where people can uh, leave their opinions and ideas and give feedback. And so, you know, those comments are coming all the time, and I love reading them. I love to hear what people think who've read the book and who've not read the book. It's just uh, an incredible venue. Uh, you know, this is all changing so fast. I think it's only going to change more in the future. We have ways of writing. Uh, we feel like regional authors sometimes. I'm certainly writing about uh, a very specific region in Canada. But now that it's become so open, uh, just anyone can read my book if they feel like it on the other side of the planet. I have to treat that subject matter in a different way so that it's more universal and more global. I think when we only were writing books in paper form, it was easier for authors to hide away and just write their books and come out when the books were, you know, emerged on the bookshelves and then do readings and author events like that. But now, because of the internet, uh, we have these incredible ways of reaching readers in video with Twitter. They're much more uh, casual conversations. They're everyday conversations. People can contact me out of the blue. I don't even know uh, who many of the people are who contact me on Twitter or who uh, email me through my blog. So that's a wonderful way to connect with readers. I feel sometimes as authors that we are a little bit separated from the people who are our audience. So I really welcome the opportunity to talk to people who have read the book or who want to.